I was sitting my somewhere. I was just sitting my somewhere. Someone decided to tempt me. This life, eh? Hmm. So this guy called me to say, listen, his side chick, his side chick, his side chick stepfather has died. So when I read the news at six on radio, like after the break, you know, then I'll chip it in small, like before the sports and foreign. He was even showing me where to do it. Like, I was amused. Like, this guy doesn't only want my company to wish me well, the HR people understand. But he wanted to use me to disrespect his wife on top. And you know, the most annoying part for me was the fact that me and Kasano, right after the show today, as I'm sitting here, I am on my way to Afo for my, my father's father that we be done, to my grand Francis, da kruche ku, da fofuna, as a goma, not in Cape Coast, but uh, Tasko na gozuma kliko. And he, but I have not said anything about it anywhere. I mean, we're just going for the funeral and back. Then you, you are, your psychic stepfather's funeral. Like, no, I'm a mamu mamu kafu mavi ema. Habobo came, like, I don't understand. Anyway, because I am in a mourning mood ahead of my grandfather's funeral, you know, today's show will be violence free. So help me God. So, Honorable George Berkuduka, I mean, don't worry. I mean, yeah, I've also had a very bad week, so <laughs> I, can, I can relate. <laughs> no, I'm not going to review your interview on the City Breakfast, I promise, on my honor. But the neutrality allowance, no. Guys, how? Like, I hear that people say, those of you who disagree, no, you can go and drink seawater. <laughs> hey, <laughs> no, the audacity of a praying mantis. <laughs> anyway, I agree with them. We have to pay them. After all, the money is there. Now, some embassies are bouncing people visa. Yeah, 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 yeah. Meanwhile, they are not paying ECG bills. <laughs> no, but our brothers and sisters in Ukraine, who were crying, bring us back home, bring us back home. No, right now, <laughs> they say that they what? What did they call it? Uh, uh, what? Return home was it a trick no more? Year of return home was it? Yeah, one week of return for no more. It's just over there. No, you have not seen it. You just wait more. Home sweet home. Anyway, anyway, I'm sorry. No, I have some business ideas to help you cope, okay? So just wait for me. Now, those of you who are saying Elon Musk should come and buy Ghana in addition to Twitter, no, raise your hand and let me see something. I want to count all of you. You see, now put your hand up. Let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. See, if Elon Musk buys the whole Ghana with extra money and that's a surplus, cry no, you, you, you that you have raised your hand, you won't get some. You won't get, I'm telling you. Okay, so welcome to the show. This is Backpage on City TV. My name is Caleb Kuda. The show is sponsored by Bell Chill and Win. Everyone is a winner, and Bell makes us taste of originality. Now, where should I really start from? Because um, I'm thinking, should we allow cash out for the neutrality allowance or no? You, let me start from the Russia-Ukraine war because, you see, our brothers are beginning to reevaluate their choice of coming back home to Ghana. From what they are saying, looks like they have regretted that. It looks like they have regretted that choice. I'm choosing my words carefully. And they seem to say, yay, I'm ready, you're doing awesome. <laughs> Just listen to them. We had a couple of meetings uh, initially, and they made us understand that they are very much positioned to help us and try to secure schools for us. So they requested for data from their leadership, which we have provided to them. Now everything seems so slow. Uh, we don't know what is happening now. Students, they are frustrated. Man. We've given them everything they've asked of us. For them to make the next steps, we don't know what is causing the delay. We are more than talking about, of course, some refuse to come to Ghana 
which now seems to, I mean, it seems that they made the I mean, best decision because they are in Europe, they are being catered for, they are receiving accommodation, everything is good, some are getting opportunities. So now it looks like all of us who came to Ghana is a mistake on our part. That is how everything looks now. Oh, slow. I said now it looks like it was a mistake for some of us to choose to come back to Ghana. You see, the beautiful thing about this statement is the fact that President of, uh, of Nukes Ukraine, Philip Bobiansa, is still not sure that this decision to come back home was a mistake. He's not calling it a mistake. He's not saying that. He said it is like a mistake. <laughs> then it looks like it was a mistake. He just said, my brother, <laughs> when your friends were going to Hungary and some other places, no, you, you felt that you were the new crop of patriotic citizens of the decade, eh? <laughs> no, you felt like your friends were the prodigal sons. No, you are the real sons of the soil. No, no, no you have the chance to go to Hungary. Poland, Belarus, America, UK. You decided that, oh, that's not anthem, no. It's just sweating you too much, so you are, you are coming back to Ghana. Oh, isn't that cute? Oh, my God. <laughs> no, I'm sure many of you, your parents advise you against coming back to this country. You refuse. A 23 now, come on, promise to enroll you back in school. Now, uh, so that you can complete your course. Now, uh, too, it has become better. No, no I, I can feel the disappointment in their voice because, you see, when they returned to Ghana, they, they, like, they were full of hope. Like Kwame Kuma, when we won independence, like they were full of. Uh, you, you remember? Mm? We just woke up one day to hearing that they've started like bombing everywhere. And I was so emotional, I called my parents, I don't want to do this again. It's very dangerous. So it's by God's grace we reached here, and that's why we appreciate whatever they are doing. It's really, really traumatic. You can't, we just went there for our education. Six years of medicine, corona came in, and now there is a war. We are thinking about how to move forward, and everything is bringing us back. So this time around, like, I'm really, really happy the government stepped in to do something for us in this very difficult time. Guys, see, here in Ghana, if the grace of God, then inshallah, we didn't move. Okay, so, guys, let, let me take you through a quick virtual therapy, okay? Quick virtual therapy. I'm sure... You were thinking, oh, I have like six months to complete my studies. I'll relocate to Ghana, complete my course, and I will start my housemanship, get posting, and serve my country. Such beautiful, noble ideals. See, you, 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 you came at a hard time. That's the only problem. Government payroll is not full. It's full. The government payroll is full. But the blessing is that eh, it has started raining. So I have three tips for you. Three. Munya muru. You know muru? You don't know muru? A bro, a bro. Yeah. <laughs> maze. <laughs> Prance maze. Yeah. And then start. Wow. Uh, wow. You know wow? You forgot him wow. I'm talking snails. In your. Almost. Then lastly, you know, whatever you do, whatever you start, sell it online. Because this Ghana, if you say you wait for Amaya, your friends, who chose not to come back to Ghana? They will become specialized physicians and you will still be here regretting your decision. But seriously, honestly, the way we need doctors, man, that we frustrate young talents, eh, it, it amazes me. I do understand. There are about 1,000 students returnees, those who are coming from Ukraine. Now, according to the World Health Organization, the standard doctor-to-patient ratio is giving uh, in each country as a uh, one to a thousand, okay? But ours, as of 2020, was one to six thousand plus. Six thousand plus. So this one there, I, I don't know who the administrators and again, I don't know what the challenge is, but I, I, am, I am hopeful, I'm praying so that, you know, you don't let our young people regret uh, their decision to, to you know, Guys, you chill small. Sometimes, eh, let me explain the reality to you. Some, when you left, the people you left behind, you see, they graduate like one year and over. 
before they are giving financial clients. That one cry, they have to come and cry on everything. Radio says, it's a Mm, calm down and enjoy. <laughs> Go on road trips, enjoy the country. We have missed you. Meanwhile, I'm sure by the time most of the doctors were leaving Ghana, KK was like 50 pesos in one city. Well, this is not greetings from abroad. This is greetings from Jamestown. Less than one year, you come 50 pesos. My one. 70 pesos. Neighbor one city. Be an three city. Me beat me for another 10 years. Before the 13th. Before the 25th of January 2013. Enough for 10 years. And you're coming three. Can I want to see? Three city for a chair. A papa. We can't come three. I can't hear you. Why? No, let me laugh again. <laughs> you see, it's not just KK, Gobe, Gobe, Gobe. The price has shot up astronomically. So, clock sack people say they are using a drinker's here to demand for more money. They say all those of you complaining about their demand for neutrality allowance, no. It is skin pain, skin pain, skin pain. That is killing you. Yeah. This... Neutrality allowance that, that is only a minute part of our broader conditions of service. There are more goodies that we've already finished about 80%. We don't do double work. We've got to justify at the receiving table and then some people are asking questions. We don't do double work. Me, I don't do double work. If you want to do double work, you can go and do double work. But we, we don't do double work. We've justified whatever allowances that we've been given at the negotiating table. It is signed and sealed. Signed and sealed. So if you don't understand, what? Go and sleep. Go and sleep. Go and sleep. Agbeda. 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 Well, I completely agree with them. 100%. I mean, government has already approved the neutrality allowance in an agreement. So it's not like they are now demanding it. The government has just defaulted in paying that. Assuming we didn't get to hear about it, that they would have done this column. So sincerely, like, if you all have any problem with, you know, this neutrality allowance, it should be with the one who agreed to pay them neutrality allowance and has defaulted up until now for us to hear. Anna. I mean, if someone says you are enjoying too much, so me to make I enjoy some so that I'll be neutral because some of the benefits you get, they are ultra. I mean, you have the option to reduce the enjoyment and say, okay, I reduce some. Then you keep things down. But if you agree, then you go on to increase your own enjoyment but refuse to increase their owner. Then, 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 then you, you, you get me? You, you don't get me? Well... Clock Sag has a plan to deal with those of you who are against them. Frankly, Kujo and Co. Listen to the diabolic plan. Finish. You see, and if they don't take care, if they don't sleep, I hear that commanding guy is talking. And we want him. We'll give him, we'll inject him like that. We'll get, and if he wakes up again, eh, we'll smear with him with pepper, pepper in all his parts, body parts. So you two, go and demand yourself from your boss and see something. And, and now, according to the minister for SIGA, the man who supervises many state-owned enterprises, most of whom are making massive losses, by the way. He says, public service is not slavery. People must be paid well. And by the way, the Ghanaian HR people who tell international employers that they are paying their fellow Ghanaians too much, you know, your own, no? according to the, what the minister is saying, let me ask your own, is it witchcraft or it is Abroni Beye? What is your problem? What is your own? No, but wait. 
Ghana, we have money. No, don't let anybody. There is money in. Like, people are taking rent for a month. 25,000, 18,000 to 25,000 a month. Is it elephant in the house? Nemanyao. Is it a wildlife? Nemanyao. Is it Mole National Park they are renting a month? Nemanyao. Clothing allowance, full coupons, just an entertainment allowance, inconvenience allowance, 100 Ghana cities every single day. Every day. <laughs> and, you know, <laughs> thousands of dollars for holiday besides your leave days. Hey! Already you know that the size of government is like this. But we, I mean, we say we don't have money, so we have to pay the e levy. Meanwhile, meanwhile, ECG, ECG, they are making massive losses. I mean, even embassies owe ECG. <laughs> no, let's go for a break. After this break, we will break things into two. Wait for me, I'm coming. Welcome from that break. This is Backpage on City TV. My name is Caleb Kuda. The show is proudly sponsored by uh, Bell Chill and Win. Everyone is a winner, and Bell makes us taste of originality. Now, have you applied for a visa only to be bounced before? Uh, it happens, right? But how did you cope? It's often the story. How, how did you cope when you were bounced? Maybe Kofwa de Okaun Pesubich, I want to leave. <laughs> no, my friend, be here. As them bounce out like three months, he make the president of each of Hey! <laughs> I don't know say people won't leave this country so. What, what, what is the attraction? Meanwhile, some, some of our brothers too decided to come back to the country. Now they say they think it is a mistake. Just say, see, the, the country that bounced you eh, when you were bounced, no? it's not only you they are bounced who. Like they are bouncing ECG bills too. Chese, they don't use. Chese, go more fire in your shit. My man can't do. Go more fire in your shit, 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 Or bounce who we are. I was a name. Now I'm bouncing state institution bills. <laughs> We've added another 29 institutions to the list, which we are. Um, going after them because they are also owing and for them we have institutions such as Parliament, um, most of the ministries and it, they are not just the institutions we also have individuals like politicians, MPs who are owing so we just appeal to them to come and redeem themselves before the tax force get to them. No but ECG too, ECG, ECG, you were very quick and able to shame the black that his sisha joint, you know, people can go and say so say brutally, but he doesn't pay bills. Now name the embassy. We we'll say a dear ben, dear ben, dear ben. I feel you the ECG official and Ankasa, 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 without targeting you. Know. Ankasa, you have plans to you know apply for visa and leave this country. In turn, you are protecting interest, you know. Meboa. But you see, I remember one time some American ambassador B once said, Oh, they are only ECG, so ECG should come and collect their money. ECG said it is not true. Do you remember? ECG said, You doesn't owe us FOCO. Just say, Hey, right now, in your marks, we just come by the country. And I'm say, Alam, but we have to to change the country. My personal view on the matter is that we should the party should be able to have a consensus and have the two leading candidates 
to run together. Wow. Yes. That's a very contrarian view. Why? One Baumia and Alan to run together. Yes. For a very simple reason. The simple reason is that for the first time, mm. the two leading candidates also satisfy the north south divide. divide. Isn't it not interesting, like the, the fixation on who should be in charge of milking in the future? when the milk and egg prices are already milking us dry. But, but, but then, I mean, who would you want to be the running mate? Like in the Alan Baumia, Dr. Baumia is going to be the running mate? Or like Alan? Like would Baumizi want to be vice president again? Like what, what would be the point? But after all these years, is being vice president all oh, that Alan Cash has truly been looking forward to? Well, I guess the... The chaos that has characterized this constituency executive is indicative of what we can expect. But, uh -huh. wait, one before I go. Muhammad, though, like, I beg you, when he went to say that Africa's overdependence on imported food is a shame, no? The shame, no? Who exactly are we shaming here? Like, how are we sharing the shame? You will keep us on. <laughs> you know what? <laughs> See, let me go and prepare for anniversary, sir. You know anniversary? Yes, sir. Uh, they go prepare for anniversary. Me to my mother's plenty. I'll see you again.